Eyewitness News is bringing you continuing in-depth coverage of tonight's presidential visit. President Barack Obama's arrival in Rhode Island took an unexpected turn today when Democrat Frank Caprio blasted the president for failing to endorse him in his run for governor. What I said to the president is that this process about endorsements isn't something that I'm concerned about right now. And he could take the endorsement and shove it. Joining us live now in studio to talk about the ramifications of Caprio's controversial comments is Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming. Talking about upstaging the president's <laughs> arrival. Now, what kind of effect do you think this is going to have? Well, keep in mind, Karen, that when you make a comment like this this late in the campaign, that's calculated. I don't think that was just done off the spur of the moment. I think Frank Caprio's campaign really went out, and they did try to upstage the president today, because I think Frank Caprio, the latest polling shows he's falling farther behind, and John Robitaille is closing in on second place. What he's trying to do now is get the conservative Democrats, the conservative independents, and our last WPRI poll, it shows independents do not think Barack Obama is doing a good job. So I think Frank Caprio is trying to go after that group of voters. I, he knows he's not going to get the liberal Democrats, so by attacking the president, he's not hurting himself with the liberal Democrats. They're already with Lincoln Chafee. But I've heard some people today, of course, it was all over talk radio, right. obviously, and some people said I was offended by the language, and, and it's turned me off. Well, it's the way he did it. He could have done it in a lot nicer way, but I think he wanted it for effect. When you make a comment like that, you can shove it. You really want the impact of it. And that's what he got today. He has Rhode Island media. He has national media. The focus today is on Frank Caprio, not on Barack Obama. And no one even knows about David Cicilline anymore. He's an afterthought. <laughs> Now, one of the, some of the people from Chafee's camp kind of looks at this as a little victory for them today as well. Well, absolutely. The President of the United States is not supporting the standard bearer in the state of Rhode Island, a Democrat. So really, this is a little payback for the President to Lincoln Chafee for supporting him in 2008. And again, the Chafee campaign is going to take any little victory. They're going to look to see how this could help their campaign. But again, I think Frank Caprio is looking at this as a way to get votes and try to do something with his campaign. It looks like his campaign is stalled. He's trying to jumpstart his campaign again with only eight days to go. Let's look at the other horse in the race. How about John Robitaille? Well, again, John Robitaille, I think, is sitting back with a big smile on his face. All along, he's been trying to hope that Chafee and Caprio will go after each other, and he comes through the middle. And the poll that was released last week showed that he is starting to do that. He was at 25% and Caprio's at 28 We have a new WPRI poll coming out towards the end of the week, which will give us a clear indication of what's happening in the governor's race. It certainly made this race even more interesting and the debate coming up tomorrow. Absolutely. Too. I'm sure this will come up during that. Oh, I'm sure it will. All right. Thank you, Joe. Thank